Yo, what's good, everybody? It's Mr. Holland Park 313. Um, big game for the Lions tomorrow when they face the Giants. Today is Saturday, December the 17th. And we head to the Meadowlands, MetLife Stadium, to face the Giants. Um, obviously, this is a big game, a huge game for that matter. Um, every game is going to be huge until we securely lock up division and win the NFC North. So we have very little... Um, you know, very little room for error, you know, in this situation. So, got to go out there and take care of business. Um, I know a lot of people are counting this out, a lot of these analysts and, you know, NFL Network and a lot of media pundits pretty much don't really give us a shot against the Giants. Everybody's on the Giants hype train right now because they upset Dallas or for whatever reason they're on the hype train. But I still believe that we can go out there and get the job done. In order for us to do that, we have to maintain our consistency. One thing the Lions have been doing very well as of late is time of possession. Um, our offense has been able to stay on the field by converting third downs and sustaining drives. And with that being the case, you're keeping opposing defenses on the field. So your defense is on the sideline getting rest while they're out there trying to stop you. And that's very good. That bodes well for everybody because – you're tiring out their defense, and you're getting your defense rest. And you can see what the real rest of defense, when they come out in the field, they play well. And the Lions defense have been playing much, much better. And big shout-out to the secondary. And I never thought I'd be saying that because it's, you know, that's always been a weak area in our defense is our secondary. So we just got to keep doing a good job of uh, maintaining possession of the ball, eating up clock. Um uh, Sustaining long drives. Now, one thing I want to see us do a little better in is converting touchdowns in the red zone. Um, we haven't been done. A, we have been doing a very good job of that the last couple of games. Um, you know, we keep selling for field goals. You don't want to get a habit. Now, granted, we do have a great kicker. That's good to have, especially in a situation we did a long field goal to maybe force overtime or possibly win the game by a few points. However, you don't want to get in the habit of constantly selling for field goals. Because if you start doing that and the other team start pick up momentum and start scoring touchdowns, they're coming away with seven and you're coming away with three. And when that happens, you find yourself trailing and you got to rely on miraculous comebacks, you know. Now, we have the NFL record for most comebacks by a team. You know, that's good. You know, I take any win I can, any win they can get, I greatly appreciate that. But at the same time, I still want to see us do better when we get in the red zone and start converting these drives into touchdowns and not just settle for field goals. Every now and then, I understand it happens. You're going to have to score a field goal. I get that. But we want to start coming away with more touchdowns and get in the habit of that. Number one, we have the talent to do so. I truly believe that. So when you really think about it, when with our offensive personnel, there's really no excuse. There's really no reason why we can't come by, come away with more touchdowns instead of field goals. But like I said, I'm super proud of the way that we've been playing as of late. Um, it was looking pretty bleak, bleak a few months ago when we were one and three. Um, everybody was calling for Jim, um, call you know, Caldwell's job and everything, and I was too. I was one of the main ones, but. Um, he so far has proved it out as is wrong, you know, and I will admit that. So hopefully he keeps it going. Um, it'd be absolutely huge to win this division. I mean, it's not guaranteed right now. Hopefully we get a bit of help for Chicago by them beating Green Bay in Chicago. But I realistically don't really see that happening, even though I hope it does. We'll just see, but I don't really see that happening. So with that being the case, I don't want to come down to a situation where we got to play one last game for the division. I want us to go ahead and lock this up. And by the time the, uh, Green Bay comes to Ford Field, it won't even matter because we already have everything sold up. And to get a first one by somehow, that's still possible as well. But I think I could be wrong. We pretty much have to win out. And, now, you know, honestly, I believe we can do that. I have confidence in this team. If we go out there and play our game and play sound football and not make any kind of mistakes, and when you do that, limit your penalties, you take the officials out the game. Don't let them decide the outcome of the game. You know, put teams away and put teams away early if you can. We have a tough challenge ahead. I'm fully aware of that. It's not easy to go to the Giants. It's not easy to go to Dallas. And you're coming home against 
a divisional rival in Green Bay Packers, and divisional games can always be tricky. You just never know. Um, Chicago made a hell of a game the last time we played them, and that's a 3-10 and team. So you can't look at anybody's record and say, well, this will be an easy win. Divisional games are always tough, especially on the road or at home, you know, so big shout out to them. Um, I would like to see the Pistons do a little better with consistency, meaning that I want our reserves to play well like they did yesterday against the Washington Wizards, as well as our stars who didn't play that well. And we got to start picking up a little bit on the defensive end of the ball. Um, I think once we get that solidified, we'll be okay. So um, they are 500 right now at 14 and 14. Uh, and hopefully things can get a little better um, when we, as we progress to the season. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Go Lions. Um, we'll see what happens. I'm wishing the best. Um, super proud of them. Hope we can keep it going. Shout out to my DVE fam up here. Everybody, you know who you are. And um, I'll see everybody later. Thanks for checking me out.